This is the Uptick Network Stock Day Podcast, sponsored by InvestorsHangout.com. Penny stock news and interviews from the microcap world. Public information on OTC, pink sheets, and microcap stocks from around the world. With your host, Everett Jolly. On today's show, we have a very exciting guest with us. His name is Ken Manzo. He is with Manzo Pharmaceuticals. They trade on the OTC pink sheets under the ticker symbol N. N Z O. That's M N Z O. Manzo Pharmaceuticals is a special uh, specialty pharmaceutical company. They engage in research and development and testing of patent and non patent solutions on remedies such as uh, lactose intolerance. Ken, thank you and welcome to the show. Thank you, Everett. Hey, give me a little bit of background of yourself and how did you get involved in all this? Okay, I've been a pharmacist for 25 years. And I came up with the Lacto Freedom idea about 15 years ago. And I've been developing it ever since. And it's actually very close to uh, being out on the market, which makes me very happy. Absolutely. How common is this lactose tolerance market? Is it, is it a well, huge market? Is there a big problem out there? Well, supposedly three out of four people in America have some degree of lactose intolerance. So that equates to about 78 million people just here in the United States alone. So it's a pretty big market. I expect a pretty big demand for this product. And so take us through the process. Now, you say you're, are you FDA approved yet? Is your, is your, is your uh, uh, drug or your uh, patent uh, pro uh, biotech, uh, is, is that ready to go to the market? Where are we at in that process? Well, it's uh, currently being manufactured by a probiotic manufacturer who is FDA approved in the United States. And we've done some testing on it in humans, and it came out very favorable. And since it's a nutritional supplement, not a drug, it doesn't require FDA approval as far as being a drug, uh, which means that the clinical study does not have to be a large clinical study. It does not need the thorough testing, double-blind placebo test that drugs would have to endure. Absolutely. So it's a supplement. Right. It's a supplement. And it's, uh, since it's a probiotic, those by the FDA are generally recognized as safe ingredients. So you take this supplement and you're allowed to have cheese and milk and dairy products. Is that? That's correct. Some people have more lactose intolerance than others, which means that if they drink only like a small cup of milk, they'll get symptoms, whereas others, if they drink two glasses of milk, they'll get symptoms. So as long as people don't overdo it, they may or may not have symptoms. Now, with the lactose freedom, people could have cheese, milk, and dairy products, and depending on their intolerance level, They may not experience any symptoms, or they may experience much lower degree of symptoms. So in my research, educate me and my my listeners, you know, how is lacto-freedom different from lactase supplements, which are currently a very uh, popular solution for lactose intolerance? Yes, they are pretty popular. And lactose intolerance is when the human body does not have enough lactase which is the enzyme responsible for breaking down lactose into glucose and galactose, which are absorbed by the body. Lactose is not absorbed by the body unless it's broken down by lactase. Now, what the lactase supplements do, they break down the lactose in foods inside the intestines and the stomach, so people are able to digest lactose. Now, that, that works well. However, people have to take it every time they're about to ingest lactose. And unfortunately, it becomes very costly. And if they don't know that their meal contains lactose, because it is added to a lot of different foods, they may not take the supplement, and then they may end up with some effects of the lactose intolerance, like bloating, diarrhea, nausea, and gas, 
Um, but with the lacto freedom, people would take it for seven days and then discontinue it. And the lactose digesting effects of this probiotic last between two and three months. Wow. So the people are covered without even taking it again for maybe two or three months later. And what do you think the cost is going to be for that seven days? Uh, probably about 25 or $30. Very good. My guest today is Kid Manzo. He is the CEO of Manzo Phar Pharmaceuticals. They trade on the OTC pink sheets under the ticker symbol MNZO. You know, when do you expect uh, this product to be available in a commercial form and out there on the markets, Ken? Well, if everything goes as scheduled, uh, most likely in August of this year. Outsta outstanding. Your market cap to me, I was looking at some of your numbers. I was looking at your balance sheet. Your market cap, is this correct? It's under a million dollars? Yes, that is correct, I believe. And you're trading at about uh, seven hundredth of a cent? Yes, that is correct. You are very, very undervalued. If your freedom supplement comes out into the market space, I mean, it sounds like this is a huge market, as you were saying, three out of four have this kind of problem. Uh, it would seem like your company would take off as soon as this uh, uh, supplement hits the, uh, the market. That's what others are telling me as well. So, <laughs> we, you know, we hope that's what happens. My guest today is Ken Manzo. He is the CEO of Manzo Pharmaceuticals Incorporated. They trade on the OTC pink sheets under the ticker symbol MNZO. Ken, in closing, is there anything that you would like to get out to my listeners that you and I didn't get a chance to talk about? Uh, no, they should just uh, check us on Facebook and Twitter under Manzo Pharma for updates. And, and your website, if you want to give a shout out uh, for your website where they can go and, and find out a little bit more about your company is what? Sure. It's www.manzopharma.com. Well, my guest today has been Ken Manzo. He is the CEO of Manzo Pharmaceutical. I believe the company is completely undervalued, especially its market cap, a little bit south of a million dollars. Ken, I want to thank you for coming on the show. We're going to check back with you in a couple of months and, uh, and see how things are going. Again, uh, we're looking for your product to come out is in August. Is that, is that correct? That is correct, as long as everything goes as planned. Awesome. Ken, thank you for coming on the show and we're gonna get back with you in a couple of months. Thank you, Everett.